Hi everybody, how are you? I've just returned from a walk through the park during which I listened to a recording of a short story by Claire North, who is one of my new favorite authors. The story is called The Voyage of the Besset, and it is a sort of historical science fiction. It's <laughs> nothing to write home about, but it is fun for fans of naval adventures in the age of sail. I'll link a site down below where you can find links to the recording on different platforms. My task now will be to find some books, to choose some books that I'm going to take with me on a short three-day trip for work that I'm going on tomorrow, which includes a two and a half hour train journey in each direction so lots of time to read i am going to take my kindle but i also want to take some books from my shelves so i'm going to go over there and have a look and have a think i'm going to show you a pre-selection but the final decision will probably be made tomorrow about five minutes before i have to leave my flat <laughs> I'm going to a very beautiful town here in Bavaria and I hope I'll get the chance to visit the old town during the daylight hours so that I can take some pictures that I can show you. So I thought why not make this week the first week of April a vlogging week. Hi guys, I'm back home again having a lazy sunny Saturday and of course as is always the case with these things my big fat reading trip didn't go quite as planned um, in the sense that I got hardly any reading done. I read about 15 pages on the way to Bamberg and then nothing for the whole three days as well as the train journey back. So therefore I'm glad I ended up not taking any book besides my Kindle other than The End of the Day by Claire North, which I had already started, which I was already reading. Um, this is quite an interesting little thing 
about well the protagonist of the novel is Charlie who is the harbinger of death he is the one who goes before death at least in certain cases it's not quite clear yet which cases they are I'm hoping to find out in the course of the story and there also seems to be something bigger afoot which we've what well, we are just beginning to learn right about now. I'm on page 88 right now. This is quite the fantastical tale and not just, I mean, of course, it's about the harbinger of death that is, of course, fantastical, but it's also, it's written in the way that makes it clear that this is not to be read as your average urban fantasy. The people with whom Charlie speaks, his friends, his acquaintances, with whom he speaks about his job, all accept his job without many questions, besides just general questions about working conditions and such. But they don't question the heart of it and the job itself and the existence of death as an employer and Charlie being employed by death. So that is a clear signal, I think, that the book just wants to experiment with an idea and what the idea enables the book to say about, I don't know, humanity, the human condition, we'll see about that. What did end up happening in Bamberg was that I found a new author to try and a German one at that, a German speaking one. It is Austrian novelist Eva Menasse. I came across a YouTube video with her just by chance it wasn't about her writing, it was an interview, not about her writing, but about various current issues. And I liked the way she spoke about these issues. So I thought I'd give her a try, even though, you know, I usually stay away from contemporary German literature. The book is called Dunkelblum. Whoops, there goes my bookmark. It's called Dunkelblum, which is the name of a small Austrian town, almost almost only a village and so far it feels a little bit like Before the Feast by Sasha Stanisic which is kind of the history or biography of a small town in eastern Germany which unfolds in the course of one night so one night contains the whole of the history of this small town. I think the scope of this book is a little bit larger, but I'm not quite sure yet. I've only read about 20, 25 pages, but I'm loving it already. Every, every sentence so far has been a gem. I, I wonder if Eva Manessa might end up being a new favorite author of mine. And if it does, or even just if I end up loving this book, the trip to Bamberg has proved to be a very successful one when it comes to reading, even though I didn't actually do much reading. I'm now going to sit on the balcony for a couple more hours and just have a good nutritious home-cooked meal and enjoy the warm weather and read a little bit and for tomorrow I have my first real mountain hiking trip planned for the season.